I know there are gold diggers out there. I know there are people who only come into relationship to take and not to give. But shouldn't matter. Some people, their love language is money. <laughs> when you meet their financial needs, they are there. And is it a wrong thing? Hi guys, my name is Iris and you are welcome to Inside the Iris, okay? So, in today's video, we are going to be talking about relationships and this falls under my segment. Let's talk about shit. Voila! So, on the segment, you find all the relationship talks. I mean, I'm not a psychologist, I'm not like um, a counselor, but then this is actually positive vibes that we get to talk about all the relationship drama okay so as an opening <laughs> i mean i'm such a nice person come on as an opening i'm going to be sharing something about myself like relationship wise that i think a lot of people go through at the end of the day but because of how society react to their friends family whatever community they belong to react most of us just don't pursue it and for me, it wasn't because of how someone reacted. It was just something I waited out and realized that, okay, it's not really like, it's not really, really important like that. It just, it, it was just a phase that passed. So let's get right into this. Stuff. So I know that in society, okay, when you are a man and you marry someone or you settle with someone or you're dating with someone that is younger than you, wait, older than you, like people question it why are you dating a woman older than you and when you're a woman on the other hand or a lady on the other hand and you're dating a man that is what they call way older than you i don't know what that is but they say way older than you, like probably 10 years or 20 years or whatever older than you people tend to think that it's because of something aside love that is why you are with that person because many a times when we see women settling with older men, those older men tend to have money. So, of course, he's old. At his age, he should have made something for himself. The whole point is, as you, you are young right now, you are pursuing your career, you are pursuing whatever it is that you think will bring you money. So, you are trying to build wealth. So, in the next 10 years, you don't, like, I don't expect you to be where you are now. And you yourself don't expect yourself to be where you are today you expect growth both financially emotionally anything like all around so if at that age you don't really have anything to show for it then we are going to say that you didn't make the most out of your life and so it makes sense that men who are a particular age like older it makes sense that they have money women who are older it makes sense that they also have money and so if they happen to fall in love with someone younger than them or if the younger people tend to fall in love with those groups of people it shouldn't be based on because he's rich because he has money because he's wealthy because he can afford to swing. You don't expect a 60-year-old man to be as poor or as broke as whatever. So I don't really get it. But yeah, let's get into my story. So when I was doing my national service, okay, I went through this whole phase, okay, of being attracted to men that were in their late 20s or in their early 30s. It was a phase I went through. I'm not even going to lie about it. And at that time, I thought something was wrong with me. So I decided to ask a friend who was a medical practitioner, like, what's going on? Is it normal? Because it wasn't something like, I never felt anything like that. I mean, I always had things for, or a thing for guys who were like a little older than myself or something, like probably two, three, four years at most, not even like five. So I was beginning to wonder like, what's going on with me? Because at a point, I felt like there was something probably going on with me, honestly. And she was like, no, it's very normal. But then I decided to wait it out because I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know whether it was hormonal changes or it was just something. Because you know when it comes to this whole relationship thing, like we all have that face. Like we have things that, I don't know how to put it. 
but you know we are never really consistent okay at certain ages we want this after a couple of years we want another thing like as human beings we keep going through and um, we keep undergoing changes okay and it, it applies to every aspect of our lives career whatever you would want to do something then you realize that no this is not what i want to do and then you, so it's like that it applies to relationship as well what i mean by waiting it out is I wanted to find out whether it was a face or it was something that had actually come to stay. And trust me, it was a face. I'll not say that like I've completely lost interest, but I've realized that it's not something that like I won't want. Like it's not something that if it's not there, I can't settle. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So my whole issue is assuming it didn't fall out. Assuming it wasn't like a, a face in isolation it was actually who i was as a person would i be too scared to pursue it because of what society is going to say because of what my family is going to say because of what my christian community is going to say like do you get what i'm trying to say because probability that when i introduce someone in their early 30s to my group of friends that oh okay there's the person that I'm with or this but like they are going to react in a particular way because obviously everyone is expecting that a 23 year old girl would bring someone around their 25 26 maximum 27 okay as a husband ideally so why then are you bringing someone in their early 30s do you get what i'm trying to say and then again they are going to feel like they are not they will not be able to like mingle around the person but at the end of the day it's not about them. i feel like we all have what we want in a relationship it changes over time of course but like we all know what we want at some point at some point we don't really know but at some point we do know what we want in a man or in a woman so if we find those things that we want in someone irrespective of their age of course unless age is part of your spec as we like to call it but if it is not i don't think that it should matter. i just seem to have a problem with it when people are criticized for whom this um choose to settle with in terms of age so you meet someone and you actually like them but you are afraid to settle because you are scared someone is going to laugh at you you are scared your parents are going to talk about it you are scared your friends are going to talk about it you are scared society is going to talk about it and it's really terrible okay i just want to encourage people to pursue what they want in relationships okay whether it's age whether it's finances looks whatever it is so far as it makes you comfortable go with it because i don't get what the big deal is i don't know why someone should be criticized because she's probably 22 and she wants to marry someone who is 50 something that's who she likes what's the big deal oh he's just 25 and he's settling with a 45 year old man and so therefore what is your problem so i went through that phase i would also probably do the same thing okay because sometimes it just beats your imagination hey you look at the person you see that hey the person is really grown old but then you are settling with the person and it makes like it's very funny you would begin to think why is this person settling with this kind of person when they are younger people so i'll bring you more on my very next episode i didn't intend to keep long i just want you to get a glimpse of some of the discussions we'll be having on this particular segment so if you're not following me yet please please do well to follow me thank you very much for watching this video Bye.